Hello and welcome back to Nekopon Gaming. My name is Nekopon and today we're doing a video on the Uma Musume Champion Meeting Gemini Cup. So it's been a little bit since I've made a video and I've been working really hard on trying to get this spreadsheet up and running for everyone. So we're gonna go through the spreadsheet today of some of the research that I did for Gemini Cup. We're expecting this to happen somewhere in the middle of June, probably right after the event that is happening currently. So I'll have that linked in the description or the pinned comments below so you can follow along if you want or keep this as a link. Um, I really want this spreadsheet to become kind of like a living document so that we can add more and more information to this as we get them um, and make it a great resource for everyone to use when they're trying to figure out how to approach Gemini Cup. So um, with that said, we know that Gemini Cup will have a few new rules this time compared to the Taurus Cup last time and we don't know what those rules will be yet but I will add them to here um, as soon as we know and along with the date of course once we know what that is too. So just like last time for Taurus Cup, Gemini Cup will have the same race factors as the Legend Race. So you can use the same racer for Legend Race um, so you don't have to race two characters if you wanted to. And I really want to get this up and running as soon as possible, even before we have the game announcement because we need all the time we can get to raise our racers um, so that we can race them in this highly competitive event. And if you don't know what the champions meeting is yet, then I have another video for you from the last time we did this. I will also link that down below. First of all, welcome to this spreadsheet. I'm very proud of it. I hope we can make this fantastic together. We're gonna start by using the tabs down here to navigate. You'll see we have cover, which is where we are now. We have race factors, skills and cards, racers, stats and credits. And before we start anything, I would love to just give credit to every thing that helped me with my research. The first one I really wanna give credit to is this website here. It's a Japanese website that you can kind of put in your skills and your stats to calculate how many points you have to make sure you don't go over your rank in case you're trying to get B for Open League. And the next one I'm sure a lot of you guys already know is GameTora. It's a great translated database for skills and characters and stuff like that. So if you need an English translation or stuff like that, you can go there and check it out. They have a lot of great information. And then the last one is a Japanese only wiki called Game With. And you know, I use a couple of different ones, but this is the main one I use today um, as a point of reference for the information for Gemini Cup. So let's start with going over the race factors. So this time Gemini Cup again will be in mid-June and will have the same factors as the June Legend race that happens after the Gemini Cup. Um, this time we already know it's gonna be in Kyoto. Um, it's gonna be long distance on turf in good condition. It's gonna be a clockwise um, racetrack under sunny weather in the spring. So you can click on any of these to kind of jump to each of these factors if you're not sure about them. Like, you know, if I click on long distance right here, it's gonna take me to long distance. And this website is also very like mobile friendly. Make sure everything's kind of like vertically viewed so that if you want to kind of look at this on your phone, you can do that. So the first one we're gonna look at is Kyoto. I'm not gonna go through every single thing in here, but I'm gonna go through an overview so you know what to look for. So the first one here is Kyoto again, and the desired skill that you want for Kyoto is Kyoto Race Course, and this one upgrades to a double circle. No characters have this as an innate skill or as an awakening skill, but there are a ton of support cards that can give you Kyoto Race Course. So that includes Mejiro McQueen, Rice Shower, Mejiro Dober, and their rarity variants. For long distance, there's a couple things I wrote here. The first one is core distance. And then here generally, I just wrote rare recovery skills and skills with the long distance tag. These will all help you with the long distance here. So the first one is to focus on core distance as a skill and the character that can innately get you the skill is Agnes Tachyon. And you can see here that she has it as her innate skill. There's also a few support cards that can give this to you, including El Condor Passa, Asian Flash, Nishina Flower, Kawakami Princess, and their other variations. Down here, I wrote a couple examples of long distance recovery skills that you should look forward to getting. Um, there's a ton of long distance skills, but here's just some examples of ones that could be very useful for the Gemini Cup. The next one is good condition turf, and the desired skill here is good condition turf. And this one also upgrades to double circle and the character that has it as an innate skill is winning ticket which you can see here 
There's a ton of support cards that can help you get this, but the one I really want to show you here for Rice Shower is in case you do end up using Rice Shower, which is a very good card to use for this event. Um, you can see that if you happen to run to this event, you should choose the bottom option, the yellow one that says this text to get this skill. I have um, support card events written out like this for all the race factor skills that I'm recommending. So if you scroll down to other cards, you'll see a very similar format. Hopefully this would be very helpful for you. The next one is clockwise and the skill you really want to get from here is right turns and this one also upgrades to double circle. Unfortunately for this one, I would probably pass on it just because there's not many ways to get it. There's only three cards and they don't really have um, multiple benefits. So for me, I would skip worrying about clockwise. The next one is sunny and the desired skill here is sunny days, which also upgrades to double circle. No characters have this innately, but the cards that have this and can support you are El Cardinal Pasa, Mejiro Dober, Satoru Diamond, and Hishi Akebono, and their variations. And El Cardinal Pasa has two ways to support you with this, so if you also get it during an event, you can boost that hint. The next one is Spring Girl, and this one's a little bit tricky because there's a few ways to get this. The first one is innately through Mejiro McQueen, so if you look at her here, she has it. And then I don't have um, Tokai Teo, the new one, but the new Tokai Teo also has it as their level two awakening skill. And the only card that supports the Spring Girl skill with hints is the regular Mejiro McQueen card. So if you click into this one right here, you can see Spring Girl is right here. And it's kind of odd because you have to remember that the regular version, the one from the main story doesn't have it. So this is the only way you can get it through hints. And the only other way to get it is through the support card event of Sakura Chiyo no o. And I just want to mention, I'm not going to be talking about getting skills through races today because that's a whole other ball game. And today I'm only focusing on cards and characters. Okay, let's go on to the next tab. In here, you'll see it's all about support cards and their decks and which ones you should probably equip. First thing first, I am recommending some deck structures. We're talking about lots of stamina right now. It is top priority because it is a long distance race. Some recommended decks are like three or two speed along with three or four stamina cards. For this example deck three, I would say you can even do three two or two three stamina cards with a flex card. The thing that will help you change your mind about how many stamina cards you have is based on maybe you know, if the character or racer that you've chosen have good stamina growth boons, or maybe your stamina cards are not as strong as your speed cards, it just that's just the way gacha rolls or the other way around. So depending on what you need, um, the speed and stamina card are probably flexible with one another. Just one of them. So the first card I'm gonna recommend is gonna be Super Creek, and this is for everybody. She is top priority. She is an amazing stamina card. Most people already know this, but she's an amazing SSR card that provides a rare recovery skill called Arc Maestro. Arc Maestro is gonna be in here. This is the one you're looking for, which would be very, very useful for this race. And if you don't have it, borrow it from a friend. That's what I'm doing. I don't have this card either on this account. And then in this next section here, I'm gonna be recommending card recommendations based on the strategy you're running with your racer. I don't have anything for betweener. I think just use skills that are good for betweeners in general. But for runners, I'm gonna recommend Silent Suzuka, Twin Turbo, and Kita Sam Black. Even though none of these cards can give you like direct benefits for a Gemini Cup, they're just so good. They have fantastic rare skills that you can use. It's really hard to ignore them, especially Kita Sam Black. If you're a runner, these are pretty much no brainers for you to use. And for leader, it's about the same, uh, maybe even for other strategies. So for example, I have special week here. We have Nishino Flower. Uh, special week has rare recovery skill for leaders. It also has additional long distance uh, stamina skill that can be really used for anyone. Nishino Flower has a lot of like flexible skills that anyone can use. So the rare speed skill on straights. This one's called like the wind and like it's a rare speed skill that a lot of people can use everyone can use this it's great um she has a bunch of other things too 
She has like leader corner, she has um, core distance, good condition turf. So in general, she's just like a very nice card for Gemini Cup. We also have the Turkey Tail SSR card, which I'm just saying there's a lot of generally good stuff in here. And she also has the rare skill here called Guest of Wind. The last card I'm going to be recommending is for Chaser Racers. So this is Narita Taishin's SR card. She has a bunch of recovery skills. She has just generally like useful stuff for chasers. So, and also long distance. So I really do recommend her if you're using a chaser character. This next section, I'm just not even gonna cover, but basically I list out all the cards that have multiple skills that are useful. So these ones right here, these green skills that I'm mentioning, and then the black ones are just like skills in general that I feel like will be beneficial for you in this race if you decide to take them. And then lastly, in this section, I have some additional stamina cards that I wanna recommend to you. Again, because stamina is just so important right now, we don't wanna miss out on getting stamina cards and not every single stamina card will have a benefit for the race factor. So I wanna make sure you have options, um, including SR versions. So the first one I'm gonna recommend again is Super Creek. Um, we have Mejido McQueen and Rice Shower, which are both from the main story, like I mentioned before, if you haven't gotten them yet, do make sure you get them. We have them in the first two chapters here, as you can see. Just complete both of these and you'll be able to get the card. And if you need to upgrade the cards, they're actually in the shop in here. So if you go to the guild one, the little crown currency, you can see that you can buy copies of them in here as well if you want to get them limit broken. Some SR cards that I highly recommend include Mayano Top Gun, Manhattan Cafe, and Zeno Rob Roy. Ooh, I miss a some characters here okay they all have very good just like general skills that you can use for this race and then the last one i want to mention again is kitasan black ssr this one is a great speed card for anyone so if you do have it it's great even if it's not particularly useful for gemini cup it's just like you can use it for anything the next thing we're gonna look at is racers so if you click on the racer tab we're gonna take a look at the recommended racers the characters I'm focusing on for recommendations are ones with good recovery support skills, That's whether that's innate or through awakening. Um, ideally, they have good support growth boons, such as like stamina as top priority, but also with power and speed. And all the strategy listed here are speculations, obviously, because I don't have access to the event yet, and, and I actually don't have many of these cards or characters. So it's based on just what I know of the character, but I have not raced them for this event yet. I will happily update this as I figure out more research through experience when the event is up. In here, you can see I have links to each of these characters. So the characters we're gonna go over today are Goldship, Agnes Tachyon, Majuda McQueen, both of them, Tokai Teo, and a few other characters. If you want to just click on these um, to go to each of their sections, you can do that. I'm going to be showing a lot of example decks here with SSR cards, but remember you can often use other rarities of the same character to get the hints for the same skills or look for a replacement in the race factor or skills and cards tab. But we're gonna start with looking at Gold Ship. So Gold Ship is my top choice for now because she has excellent growth boons. We are looking at 20% stamina and 10% power. And the example deck I got for her here is going to be the three speed cards and three stamina cards. I'm not going for four stamina cards yet because, because her like great stamina boon is 20%. Hopefully that will get her enough without having extra stamina cards so we can focus on giving her more speed. Again, with the Narita Taishin card is great for chasers. So I wanna make sure she is using that. Gold Ship has an excellent unique skill and also some helpful innate skills. But the things I wanna bring focus to is her awakening skills. So you can see that she has several of them, which is very helpful. The first one being winding down. We also have on standby and we also have after school specialist. This one becomes harder to tar out on downhills. And I know it's gonna be hard. I don't have any characters in level five awakening yet. But if you do happen to have gold ship with level five awakening, that would be very beneficial for Gemini Cup. Even if you only get to level two, this is better than not having one at all. Having a recovery skill is always good for this race. The next character I want to talk about is Agnes Tachyon. She has pretty good growth boons, being 20% in speed and 10% in guts. 
Unfortunately, she doesn't have any in stamina. And the other problem with her is that her long distance aptitude is B. We really prefer that to be A or S, so if you can get that up through inheritance, that would be best. Her example deck here is 3 speed and 3 stamina. However, I can easily see this being 4 stamina and 2 speed so that we can give her more of a stamina boost. Here you can see I gave her a special week and Yushino Flower. Like I mentioned before, they have some leader skills in them and Kita-san is just basically great for everyone. Agnes Takion is especially interesting because her skills, a lot of them have recovery in it, especially her unique skill, which this one is listed as her three star skill and the one I have is only two stars. Um, she also comes with this one innately, which is favorite place, and she also has awakening skills. Uh, the last one here in Awakening 5 again is Race Planner, which will also help her for recovery. The next one I want to talk about is the original Mejudo McQueen. She's pretty fantastic, and I think she's really good for this race because she has 20% stamina boon and also 10% intelligence, and intelligence is useful even though I don't talk about it quite enough. She naturally has an A in long distance aptitude, which is great. So I am recommending her to have three speed cards and three stamina cards, although I'm not even sure if she will end up needing three stamina cards, but I'm gonna start here for safety. She has a bunch of great skills. Her unique skill is great. The thing I want to mention here, of course, is Spring Girls. This is a very helpful innate skill that I mentioned before, which is pretty rare to get. And you can see she has several recovery skills. The first one is Stamina Keep as an innate skill. And then at Awakening 4 and 5, she has some additional ones. The level, one, the level 5 one is a rare recovery skill. The next one I want to talk about is the new Tokai Teo. I don't have new Tokai Teo, but um, I do see some great stuff happening here. The first thing being having 10% boon and stamina and power, although guts won't be very useful here. The unfortunate thing is that her natural aptitude for long distance is a B, so let's get that up to an A or an S through inheritance. Again, with the deck here is exactly the same as before. But ideally, hopefully we can get by with three stamina cards. We might have to bump up to four depending on how well this does. What really stood out for me for Tokai Teo, again, is very similar to Mejiro McQueen before. Having the favorite place as an innate skill and having race planner at level three awakening. Very, very useful. So if you're going to get three anyway, you're going to get two, which is Spring Girl, which are both very fantastic for Gemini Cup. The next character we're talking about is going to be the last one with the big overview. So this one is N of Sky Mejido McQueen, also known as the new or anime collab Mejido McQueen. Very similar growth boons as Tokai Teo, the new one, except instead of Guts, it's Intelligence, so it's a little bit more useful here. Luckily, the long distance aptitude is already A, so we don't have to get inheritance for this unless you really want to get an S, which would be very helpful, of course. The example deck here is also the same. Um, most of these are going to be the same because uh, the strategy <laughs> is often leader. I think this is a very good starting point until I try it out and then see how I can tweak it to my liking. So uh, Mejiro McQueen also has a ton of recovery skills along with other great skills. The first one being a stamina keep again and deep breaths that we like as innate skills for recovery. But then here we have level three um, awakening skill is cooldown, which is great to have at level three. We don't have to go all the way to level five like some of the other characters. We also have some great uh, speed skills here. We have straight skill. We can even get like, like the wind if we get to level five. Uh, if you actually have the materials for it. I also want to mention a couple other characters that could be potentially really be really good for the Gemini race. They just happen to have some obvious weaknesses or other usages that are not as like the main racer. Um, I'll probably try out a couple of these and I might end up writing a larger card for them, but for now they're just going to be down here until I can test them out. So the first one is Super Creek. She's great because she has the 10% stamina boon and 20% intelligence. Her long aptitude is already at A. Her unique skill supports uh, stamina recovery. And then she also have a level five awakening skill that is Arc Maestro. Like I mentioned before, Arc Maestro is very, very good. She also comes with some like debuff skills in both her awakening skills and innate skills. So she could be very, very useful if you end up awakening her. Unfortunately, she cannot equip the Super Creek card, which again, like I said, is a very, very good card. So that is actually her biggest weakness, ironically. The next one we have is Simply Rudolph. 
And Sibley Rudolph is actually a pretty good character overall. She has a very incredible unique skill and even her growth boons are really good. 20% stamina, 10% guts. The only trouble with Sibley Rudolph is that she doesn't have any rare stamina recovery skills in both her innate or awakening skills so that could be a factor of why she might have trouble with the Gemini Cup. Special Week is another one that has good stamina, intelligence, and also can run long distance, but she cannot equip the Special Week SSR card. We also have Narita Bryan and Maya no Takian, Alcondor Passa. Oh, the one I really want to talk about is Nice Nature. She's down here because, well, it's not because she's not important, but she is very important as a debuffer. What we've learned from Taurus Cup is that you really want a debuffer to kind of slow down the other girls so that your main racers can shine in the races. So she's chosen to be a designated debuffer of enemy teams. For Nice Nature, you really want to stack debuff skills on her so you can hinder your opponents. You really want to get her awakened so she has all of her uh, debuff skills if you can. You can also combine her with debuff cards to give her even more debuff skills like Manhattan Cafes and a Rob Roy, um, Rudolph, Sweet Tosho, and just make her a generally very scary saboteur. So this is the list we have so far. Hopefully this will be a good place for you to start and choose which racer you want to start working on now. The next thing we have to talk about that we haven't yet is stats. Now I don't know very much about what stats we need because the event hasn't started yet so my strategy here is purely speculation. For, so for stats I'm recommending 800 speed, 1100 stamina with two rare recovery skills, 600 power and 400 guts and 400 intelligence. And I'm saying 400 intelligence because you really want a good rate of firing off your skills. So give yourself the best chance possible to fire off those skills. And I'm also seeing 1100 stamina because we know from last time in Taurus Cup, that one was a medium distance race at 2400 meters. This time we're at 3200 meters. Last time we only needed around 800, 850 stamina. So this time I'm gonna bump it up to 1100. And just to be safe, we would really love to have two rare recovery skills. Now, if you're running open league, again, open league are for racers that um, are B rank and below. So you wanna train the strongest racer you can up to B rank. And some tips to do this is to make sure your points don't reach 8200 because then you'll be bumped up to B plus and you can't use that character for open league anymore. The second tip is to don't overachieve stat points that you don't need, like too much guts, for example, because that will be, you know, extra points that you don't need bumping you up for no reason. You want to avoid getting S in any, stam any stat except for stamina. So you're going to need a lot of stamina. You can't really avoid this, but try to avoid getting S's in any of the other stats like speed, power, guts, and intelligence, because once you get to S, it kind of bumps your points quite a bit. So avoid that if you can. And then the last one is that rare skills are worth a lot of points. So only take the ones that you need. There's some rare skills that are worth like 500 plus points and, and most skills are only worth like one to 300 as a reference. So unless you really, really need the skill, the rare skill, don't take them. Otherwise it will bump you up quite a bit. Again, you can use this website right here to calculate your points. Uh, it's in Japanese though, so it might be a little bit hard to understand, but hopefully it will be helpful. Um, and I just want to give credit to one of my viewers here for showing me this website. It has been very helpful. Thank you so much. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this information is coming to you guys early though, so you can make builds ahead of time. If you got any tips and tricks, please feel free to share them below. I am super excited for a Gemini Cup and I hope you are too. Let me know if this was helpful to you. And again, the link to the spreadsheet will be down below as well. I'll be updating the sheet as we get more information along with more tips as they come up. Have a fantastic week and have fun wrapping up the current event. I'll see you all next time. Happy racing!